current progress for Knit Droid version 2 on the N900. You see, my phone is currently in flashing mode. I don't know how well you can actually say that. Just because I've literally just finished work about five minutes ago. Well, about an hour, about half an hour ago. Even. So I'm just flashing the image now. See the device reboot. It's booting up quite happily there. It's recognising the memory cards, two of them. I'm running an eight gig class six micro SD, and I've also got the internal twenty odd gig. Whatever many it is, I'll just activate it AB on the device. Need access to it to do something. I'm going to say Android's booted up fairly quickly there. Bear in mind, this is not the first boot of the device. It's been booted previously, so all the Optimization that it runs on first boot has been ran. See, the speeds are fairly nippy. We're going to settings, scroll down to SD and phone storage. Ignore the calendar errors because I don't actually know why it's doing it. You can see there, total space available is 27 gigabytes. Available space is 495. So, because I've got Circa twenty six and a half gig worth of music on this memory, on this internal storage. Here's me phone for music playback at work. And I'm on the late night shifts. Uh, if I go into, I don't know if this will work. Music audio is still not playing at the moment. So if I go to music, don't know if this will actually pick anything at all up. Looks like it is a point now. Not surprising. Fine. Just go back, open that, go into the development tools, and I'll force it to scan. Just because otherwise it tends to screw up. It's because currently the mount, the SD card mount, doesn't want to work on first boot. On boot, I have, that's what the command I had to run via ADB was. Is the mount D command to actually run the Mount of the uh, SD card. But now, if I go into here, theoretically, eventually it will actually catch up and give us some data to play with. I'll come back when that's actually recognised something. Back again, now as you can see, it's actually recognised albums and various stuff on here now. It's only saying it's recognised one album so far, which is fine, I can live with that for the moment. Let's pick a well recognised song. Going to assume it's not actually going to play. There's no audio output, which is fine. This is what I already knew. Try plugging it in via a headphone socket if you give me 10 seconds. Let's try it also with headphones and it doesn't seem to want to play, which is fine. I don't think the actual ALSA support's fully set up for this yet, which is. Not what I'm particularly wanting to check. Just proving the point that it actually sh does show up and work. Uh, back in the dev tools again. It's just varying different things in there. There's nothing of interest. Just going to terminal emulator. This isn't going to even going to be readable, is it? No. Go back out of that. Back out of that. I don't know how well this will work. Very, very slowly at the moment. So as I discovered, it hasn't actually got hardware 3D enabled at the moment. I need to get the particular module set up for it, which is fine. Something to be worked on. There's no battery, as you can see in the top corner of the screen there. The battery just is not recognised. At all. It's 
quite a few things that aren't recognised so far. But this is just a basically a basic demo at the moment. If I go down, you can see it's firmware update 2.1. Doesn't know what the baseband is as yet. But if anybody wants to look up ESE 81, they'll find the build is 2.1 R1S. I don't know what the S stands for, but it's there. <laughs> it's the newest build I've seen. I mean, 2 .2, when 2.2 .2 comes out, I'll be trying to port that one as well. In fact, I'm trying to keep it most up to date on the N900 with it being an up to date phone. Bluetooth, I'm going to guess, won't work. Yep. But anyway, that's all of the video for today. Hope you've enjoyed that quick demonstration of what's actually going on. And I'm hoping I can get some more progress made shortly.